my name. Thanks so much for coming over to spend some time with Ace. Oh, no problem. No, you get your hands full. Taking on a big load here. We'd be glad to help. Thanks. The aide is upstairs, I assume? Right. And the doctor's on call. If you should do anything, just give him a ring. <clears throat> uh, Kelly? Uh, absolutely. Uh, we're just going to run the line uh, for the play, if that's okay. Yeah, of course it is. He's not even up yet. Good. Uh, that, that he's resting. That, that has to be very good. Anyway, um, uh, I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to push a few chairs back in case we want to act okay. while we read. Okay, I'll grab a couple sodas, be in a minute. Okay. Okay. Thanks again, Kelly. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you decided to take my advice about Kelly. Her heart's in the right place. Not a lot of young ladies would consider it a fun day to come here and spend some time with Asa. Yeah, I guess you're right. Something to be said for real people and real relationships. I'm glad you gave up chasing after that fantasy woman of yours. I think you made the right decision, forgetting all about that woman you met in the woods. Joey? Hmm? Oh, yeah. You know what? I just... I wish it were that simple, Court. I don't think I need to repeat myself, Elliot. No, not if you're going to tell me to move things along as quickly as possible with Vicky, Carlo. No. Elliot, one step ahead of you. I'll wait back here. Thank you. Alex. Carla, what did the specialist say? I know you had him phone in from the Mayo Clinic. I would have met you last night with him, but Cord is watching every move I make. It's perfectly understandable. So what did he say, darling? Were you right? Did the hospital make a mistake? Alex. What would you say if I told you it was true? If there was no mistake? Oh, my God. Anything after? Carla, my life is such a mess right now. Please don't play with me like this. I, I, I can't even stand to think about this. Now, if you are sick, I will stand by you. Because you are the love of my life. Now, tell me, what did the specialist say? Are you sick? Are you really sick? I'm indestructible, my love. I have no intention of dying until I'm ready. The doctor assured me there must have been a mistake at the hospital. The tests. We're all negative, not only for beatings, but for anything. So you're telling me that you are perfectly healthy. And perfectly ready to begin a dynasty, my love. And I see no reason why we shouldn't begin today. Nothing appeals to you, Hank? Oh, I can tell you what doesn't appeal to me. I've got a pinch me means breakfast. What's the matter, Daddy? Look, I don't want to wait around for a family interview that I didn't want to have in the first place. I'm sure Kevin and Drew have a logical excuse as to why they're late. This is important to me, Dad. For all of us. Talking about what we've been through, it'll help me with my recovery. I need to... Get comfortable with your mom telling you how I feel again. I have to learn how to get it all out. Maybe you need to learn how to hear it. And you honestly think doing this story will help? Drew! Well, it's about time. Well, good morning, everyone. So where's the great journalist? I'll park in the car. Oh, Kevin can't make it. He wanted me to apologize for him and hope she'll understand. Are you all right? He didn't say. He, uh, he said something important came up and he just took off. That's all I know. Till Andrew was gone. What are you doing here? What do you want? Look, I know you're alone. I saw the nanny take room. No. Why are you doing this to me? Cassie, we gotta talk. Relax. 
Sometimes there's nothing to talk about. Yes, there is, and you know it. Now, come on, Carpenter. Let's put our cards on the table once and for all, you and me. Well, is there something you're afraid of? Not of us? There is no us. Then what's the problem? Kevin, you're the problem. I don't have time for this right now. Well, there is no this, right? Kevin, stop it. All right, I'm already late on the story. Well, I haven't been able to type a word since last night either. In fact, I even canceled an interview this morning so I could stand up in front of your house for 30 minutes. Well, you should have done that. You mean I shouldn't have done what happened last night? Kevin, nothing happened last night. No, Cassie, I am not playing that game with you anymore. I am not playing the nothing happened game. Wasn't too much fun the first time. So why don't we play the something did happen again? Because something did happen, and you know. Okay, something happened. Something stupid and totally my fault. Well, I get a little of the credit. No, Kevin, I shouldn't have tried to sneak into the men's steam room last night. It was a dumb, stupid stunt. I'm just talking about you being in the steam room. Well, I am. Well, I'm not. I'm talking about you and me. What happened in the steam room between us? Okay, if something happened, and I'm not saying it did, but if something happened, I wish it hadn't, and I wish we weren't having this conversation right now. Well, we are, and something did happen, and it only happened because we both wanted. Well, I didn't, Kevin. I really didn't. All right, and whatever you think it was, it, it really wasn't. Cass, you're not being honest with me. For yourself. Well, let me. Okay, why are you pushing me? What do you want from me? I just want to be able to talk about this. All right, well, I'm trying to talk about it, all right? I shouldn't have been there. It shouldn't have happened. It was totally my fault, and I apologize. It'll never happen again. Are we clear on that now? Kevin? Hey, Mom. Hi. Vicky. Hello, Cassie. Good morning. What are you doing here? I agree with you that there's no time like the present, but I, I have a very important meeting with the Commissioner of Transportation. I, I, I don't want to hear about your mayoral run. obligations to this town, Alex. Once you're pregnant, we'll figure a way to get you out of your pathetic marriage. But in the meantime, there's no reason why we have to delay. Come to me tonight. I promise me. I, 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 I promise that I will do everything that I possibly can. Don't disappoint me, Alex. wasn't encouraging Carla, was he? It's bad news, isn't it? Who told you that? You did. Yeah, well, thank you very much for delivering Kevin's message. Now, I've got a message you can give him from me. Daddy. Look, apparently he's forgotten that I'm the district attorney. Now, there's a lot of important cases on, on my desk that I put on hold for this, and I am not amused. Hank, sit down. Nora. I already ate breakfast. And the last thing I need is to waste time, especially when I thought this was a lousy idea to begin with. Dad, it was my idea to do the interview. I know that, sweetheart, and that is why I came. But apparently your friend found something more exciting to do than turn your life into a media circus. Well, I'll let you know when we reschedule. No, don't bother. Do it without me. 
because the way I'm feeling right now, I don't think I'll be very much help. Hank, where are you going? I am going to work, Nora. I knew this would happen. Even if Kevin was on time, he would have found some other excuse. No, sweetheart. Daddy has a lot, a lot of work been put on hold. Well, he always does, and it always comes first. Rachel, he could have stayed, Mom. I mean, even without Kevin, he could have, he could have spent time with us, but he won't. And I know why. About Dad not wanting me to be my own person. Okay, now you're blowing this completely out of proportion. Look, he totally hates this whole idea about doing this interview, and, and, he, and, and, and about... And he hates the idea of being the bad guy again. But you know what the fact is, Mom? He just doesn't Okay, give... now I think you're being unfair. Well, I think he is being totally unfair. Do you want to be part of this family now, Drew? Mm -hmm. Do you want to trade pipe or something? All right, that's enough. Ha! Huh. Don't even get me started. Rachel. Where are you going now? I am going to the office. That's where I'm going. Why don't you just calm down? No, Mom, no, I won't. Okay, I will not go back to the way things were. Look, things gotta change, okay? Because if they don't, I don't have a life. And if I don't, if he wants to share it with me, that's fine, that's great, but he's not gonna run it. He's not gonna run it. I, I have to have it out with Daddy anyway, once and for all, you know? That's what I'm gonna do. Happened. Why not? I can't be the first. Hank didn't pull this because he wants to control Rachel. There's something else going on in his mind. Well, that may be, but I think Rachel got angry because she feels like she's getting pulled into the same patterns that she's trying so hard to break. At least that's what I got. Uh, I don't know. You may be right. You want to go after her, don't you? That's your pattern. It's just that unless someone's there, they'll end up in a fight. Well, is that so terrible? Rachel's got to say what she honestly feels. Otherwise, it gets all bottled up, and, and she has other ways to find out how to deal with it, like taking drugs. I know that. I, I don't want to go after them. It's just sometimes they need to have a buffer between the two of them. Well, maybe that's exactly what they don't need. They have to learn how to be as upfront with each other as possible, alone. All right, so do. You know a lot about Rachel. I'm glad she's opened up to you. Well, all I know about Rachel is I like the way she's handling things after rehab. And I like the way the two of you have gotten closer. What are you talking about? We haven't gotten closer. No, I just... I like the way you guys have become... I know what you mean. But you're wrong, Nora. Whatever you think you're seeing, it's all in your head, okay? Were the world mine, Demetrius being baited, the rest I'd give to be to you translated. Oh, teach me how you look and with what art I sway the motion. Demetrius' heart. Ooh, and they say I'm not playing with a full deck. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Buchanan. Where? It's just you and me, honey. You're seeing things. Reality's great and everything, and it's not as if I don't love Kelly. But, but, um, sometimes reality has a downside, too. It can be neurotic and needy. Huh. Whereas a fantasy woman is perfect all of the time. Well, they're anything you want them to be. There you go. It's because they're fantasies, Joey. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm old-fashioned. Maybe I just like a flesh-and-blood human being. You know, a woman with a mind. Mm -hmm. You know, the more I spend time with Cameron, the more I think I might be interested. Uh-huh. You know, I, <clears throat> I'd be willing to give it a shot, too. But I don't think my mystery woman would let me get there. Joey. Hi. Sorry, I, I was, I was going to be in just a minute. Yeah, well, um, I, I'm not going to go back in there until you take care of your grandfather. Ace is in there now? Dick, don't you worry about it. I can handle it. You still have to go to the office. Um, before you go back in there, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure, about Grandpa. No, uh, about what you were just saying to court. A mystery woman? Mm. <laughs> she thought I said mystery woman. Um. <clears throat> Kelly. 
Kevin. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. I was just um, comparing notes with Cassie here. Oh, on a story. Yeah, we're working together on a... Well, not together, but we're just exchanging notes. I uh, owe her a favor, professional courtesy. We do that every now and then. It's okay, right? Well, there's nothing wrong with that at all. What's the story? The story? The one you're working on together? Hello? <laughs> Mom, are you trying to check up on me? Is that what you're doing here? No, darling. I came to talk to Andrew oh, on yes. vestry visit. Oh, Andrew. Oh. Andrew's not here. Well, he'll be back uh -huh. in a minute. So why don't you come on inside, Vicky? And um, I'll make us some coffee, and you and I will have a chance to catch up. It's been a, uh, it's been a while. Yes, it has been a while. Yeah. Well, uh, why don't you go sit down, make okay. yourself comfortable, while I say goodbye to your son? All right. I'll see you at the office, I guess. All right, Mom. Bye, Mom. I don't want to leave things like this. Oh, please. All right, Daddy. I know you're a very important person with a lot of important people who depend on you, but I depend on you, too. And if you are really serious about wanting to help me get well, you'll stop what you're doing right now and you'll... You'll talk to me. Look, sweetheart, this is a phone call I've been waiting for. Okay, it won't take long. If you want to talk, we'll talk. That's why I'm here. Great. Yeah, hang on. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll be right there. Thanks. Listen, sweetheart, I'm... Um... This won't take long. They just want a signature. I'll be back in less than a minute. I'm not going anywhere. so sure it's a last request. The fatality rate for Vedens is 100%. Carlo, modern medicine doesn't have all the answers. I've seen unconventional methods get results where traditional approaches have failed. Mumbo jumbo. Carlo, the mind is a mysterious thing. Listen to me. It is the least understood but most powerful force in the planet. The trick is to keep yourself open to the possibilities. I know it might sound strange, but there are ways of unlocking and using those energies. Why don't you let me help you? Do you want to help? Yeah. Then get Vicky to turn on Kevin. You're welcome. You know, I must say we miss you at the banner. Well, I miss a lot of people, too. I certainly understand why you left, though. Dorian and Blair can be very persuasive. Oh, well, it wasn't just that. No, I know. You felt you weren't getting enough reporting opportunities. I know that. And Kevin came back from England, and he's a terrific reporter, and 
You know, I know that you're hoping that one day he'll take over the band, and I understand mm -hmm. that, too. Oh, good, good. But we still miss your work. <laughs> and I want you to know that you are welcome to come back any time you want to. You know, it's funny watching you and Kevin together out there. You two would make a great team. I don't know why I didn't think of it when you were both at the banner. I mean, obviously, you enjoy each other's company. You work well together. He likes working with you, I guess. And you know how he is. Nobody's <laughs> good enough for him. Nobody can match his fire. Oh, my God. You're so beautiful. Although I certainly think he's entitled to a little pride. After all, uh, he's, he's very good at what he does. Yeah, he's wonderful. Kathy, aren't you going to answer the telephone? <laughs> oh, <laughs> excuse me. <Yeah>. Sorry. <laughs> Hello? Kathy, it's me. Don't hang up, please. If my mom's still there, you don't have to say anything now, is she? Yes. Then you can't say anything, so please just listen. need you to do for me, please. Would you meet me today just to talk, please, Cassie? Mm -hmm. I need to talk. Cassie, please. Say yes, please. I'll be at the Waterside Inn at 1 o'clock. Meet me. Now, I know this is complicated, but believe me, I am not going to give up on this until you talk to me. You are persistent, I'll give you that. One o'clock. Waterside Inn. I'll be there. Something wrong, Cassie? No, no, it was, um... Uh, that was just the office. It was work and uh, an assignment. Obviously one you're not too thrilled about. <laughs> Listen, I have to go. I'm sorry. I can't wait for Andrew. I have another appointment. Oh, well, it was great talking with you. Yes, it was. We'll do it again soon. Okay. Please do tell Andrew I was here. I was looking for him. Of course. Of course. I... Kathy. You know, at the banner, we let our reporters pass on assignments that they're not too crazy. <laughs> Life is very short, honey. Make yourself happy. Are you hiding a mystery woman from me? <laughs> I'm sorry, Kelly. That was my mystery woman we were talking about. This this woman, and uh, yeah. I just haven't been able to stop thinking about her. <clears throat> well, whoever she is, will you go out and find her, please, if she is that interesting? You are young. You're gorgeous, okay? You're yeah. an irresistible combination. <laughs> oh, well, thank you very much. But uh, unfortunately, I'm also very busy. I should get to the office. Yes, you should. So you get yourself out of here, go to work. And uh, don't you worry about anything. Yeah, you got it. Listen, uh, take care and... Hey, sir. I'll see you later. Hello? Who is that? Oh, now I'm hearing voices. <laughs> uh, Joey. Who spooked your little Philly boy? Oh, um, Grandpa, I'm Joey, your grandson. This is my friend, Kelly. And we're gonna spend the morning with you, hang out a little while. Well, that's great. That's great. Well, saddle up and go for a ride. Go on the barn. I'll get you outfitted. Oh, also pick out a couple of nice horses. Come on. Hey, you okay? Yeah. I'm sorry. I... It's just that I'm, I'm very scared of the same problems that my mom and my aunt have could happen to me. But I am going to learn how to deal with that. If you need you, I love you, and I'm going to stay here. No. No, you know what? Don't even try to talk me out of it. I'm staying. I'm not going anywhere. Thank you. I'm very happy that you're here. Thank you so much. Mm. Now, oh. how about a ride on the range? Just man, it's really not. Yes, but you're looking for things that aren't there, and they never will be either. Okay, got it. Drew. I mean, I mean, other than just friends, that's all. Mm -hmm. 
I like her as a friend. I'm glad. She likes you, too. Look, I just don't want you to get the wrong idea. That's, that's all I wanted to say. Well, well, you definitely said it. Listen, I've got to get to summer school, and I'm not that hungry anyway, so... Okay. See you. Any message you want me to give Rachel when I'm going to see you, Drew? No. Oh, okay. We'll hook up sooner or later. Whatever you say, Drew. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. When did these come, Dad? Late yesterday. Look, but I've only just had one night's worth of no sleep, huh? Sorry. Well, it's right for Sheila. That's what's important. I'll find time to feel sorry for myself when I can. Why didn't you... Why didn't you tell me about this, Dad? I... I would have postponed the interview. Look, sweetheart, I just didn't want to put another burden on you. Helping you get through this helps me. But I think you're just protecting yourself from feeling the feelings. You hide behind your work like I hid behind my drugs. But I made a decision to stop. I want to be a part of your life, if you'll let me. If you'll come out of hiding. very important, smart people who brought me up. They taught me how to listen. Oh, sweetheart. I've lost every woman that I've ever loved. First Nora, then you, and now she. I'm awfully sorry that I'm late. I had this appointment to talk to Reverend Carpenter about church business, and he wasn't there, but his wife is there. It's a disjointed day. I had more than a few in my time. Yeah, Kevin was there. He was... I don't know. You fought? Fought? No. No, no. We very rarely fight, no. No, but he, he just... He wasn't quite himself, you know? Well, that's not your problem, is it? It's mine. And you've already helped me with one of my children, so... If there's ever anything I can do. Thank you. Uh, do you want coffee or tea or something? Uh, no. No. Whenever you're ready, I am. Vicky. Do I have to tell you that I'm nervous? Despite knowing that you can't be made to do anything under hypnosis that you wouldn't do wide awake. All right, um, then I'm being irrational. You're the doctor, explain it. Okay, here it is. Vicki, you don't fear anything that you know. It's the possibility that you may discover something you still don't know, despite everything you've been through. Well, I'm not looking forward to any surprises. On the other hand, I've worked very hard this past year. And I don't want to leave anything buried. So if there is anything to be brought out, I guess we should bring it out, huh? Okay. Whenever you feel it's time to begin, start counting backwards from 100. Make yourself comfortable. Establish a slow and easy rhythm. You can do your stretching exercises, if you like, as you count. Okay, Take your time. 99. 98. Good. 97. 96. Very good. 95. Feel the tension leaving your lip. 94. Your shoulders. 93. And your fingertips. 
dare I ask? But we actually got somewhere. You're kidding. You weren't gone long enough to get somewhere. Long enough. Good news? Not all of it. Sheila filed for divorce. No wonder he was such a bear with the story of this morning. Oh, I've been hoping that they could work this out. Mm. I don't think Dad knew how important it was to take some time until it was too late. Oh, you're so wise. How did you get to be so wise? Oh, what's in the jeans, Mom? Oh, of course. So, uh, where's Drew? I don't know. He got up and left, and I honestly don't know why. I don't really understand him either. No. He's cute. Mm, he's cute. Kind of interested too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Will you do me a favor? Just take it slow before you uh, start making connections and attachments to people. Number five, Mom. Rachel's rule. Thou shalt not. Interfere, no matter how irresistible the temptation, remember? Oh, yes, I remember. I just, I knew that that wasn't written for me. Oh, number five was written for you. <laughs> there is no situation to discuss, Kevin. I am married to a minister, for God's sake. Well, if you think I can't resist, is that the game you're playing? I get it, I'm not going. I can't. Sorry, I can't go on this tour, so it makes me look fat. Oh, my God. Kevin? Hey, Dad, what's up? What do you think you're going? Watch, I have an appointment. Oh, no, you're not. You're not going anywhere. about how I look. <laughs> I am on to you, Buchanan. I will meet you at the water slide end. <laughs> you and your smug, manipulative attitude. And I will set you straight. This time, I will not leave any doubts. Oh, God. First, I gotta change. Okay, Dad, what's up? Martin's article on uh, kickbacks in the transportation department. It's page one for the late edition. And? And he's on vacation. Now, the whole story is filled with numbers and quotes, and no one's checked them out yet. And between you and me, the rest of it reads so badly, it's hard to get past the first paragraph. You want me to rewrite? Uh-huh. Double check the facts and punch it up. I want it down to copy just as soon as you can do it. Before deadline. Wait, 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 wait. Because I'm the only one left in this office at lunchtime, I get the honors? No, because you're the best reporter we've got, and you know it. Now, stop complaining. I'm sorry about lunch. Yeah, me too. Do this? I want to do this. I, I have to do this. It's important. Uh, so I guess I really do want to do this. Mr. Buchanan. Oh, call me Sheriff, honey. Hi. Uh, I want you to know that I know you're not dangerous. And it's just that I have this problem with, with, with people who are a little loco. Oh, shoot. Who the hell does it? I, I just want you to know that I'm trying to get over this, okay? And I hope that you give me a chance. Be because I love Joey. And I'm going to try real hard to love you, too, no matter how strange things get. Uh, Joey! Oh, yeah, right here, Grandpa. Whoever this little lady is, I'm looking at you, and I don't know who the hell you are either. But whoever you uh. are, and whoever she is, if you don't rope this little cow gal and take her home, 
You're the one that's crazy in this barn. You are great. Mm. Okay. So now, can we rehearse, please? In a little while. Uh, doctor, are you sure? Because I've read it can be reversed. Well, I know I have a unique situation, but haven't you come up with any new experimental treatments any place in the world? So you're saying you don't believe I'll be able to ever have a child? Oh, I understand. Well, I want you to understand something yourself. No one is to find out about this. It could be a matter of life and death. Do you understand that? Let the breath breathe in you. Feel the clouds passing through. Durbin, what kind of right? The, what kind of blind desperation? The mind's a mysterious thing. Listen to me. It is the least understood, but most powerful force in the planet. spot on the floor. you to follow the sound of my voice back to a time when you didn't feel so in balance to the day when the truth of your past finally burst free into your conscious mind can you remember the moment you realized that you had killed your own father yes who were the people around you the people who loved you and supported you. Clint, Jessica, Tina, and Joey. What about Kevin? No. Wasn't he there? No. And how did you feel about that? Did that make you angry or upset? No. But if you try to remember, you wanted him there very much, but he didn't come. Why? When you needed him most? Why didn't he come? Why was his job more important than I was? You were terribly hurt, but you never let on, even when he came back. I know you were heartbroken. Don't you remember that? Can't you still feel the pain? Yes. Yes, I can. I remember. Good. I will not be dragged into some oversexed high school boy's fantasy. I am an adult with a life of my own, and I will not have you ruining mine just because you don't have one of your own. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Great. You would have to be on time. 